travels back. Enough with prison. He was transferred to a psychiatric Guess who he met there? Two of Britain's most ruthless gangsters, the Cray Twins. He called them the best two guys I ever met. That friendship didn't last long, though, as he was moved back to prison. What followed was more solitary, escape attempts, attacks on prisoners that ended with lifelong scars, more attacks, and finally, when the authorities were sick and tired, he was sectioned under the Mental Health Act. He was no longer just a criminal, but mentally ill. In 1978, he was a kid at another special facility. He didn't want to take medication, and wasn't keen on the fact that he was surrounded by some of Britain's most disturbed because they had done things to people we will not talk about. Yep, he didn't like some of these terrible men, and at one point was said to be about five seconds away from killing a fellow patient or prisoner who had taken the life of an innocent child. In his own words, describing the people around him at the facility, I witnessed them running into walls, using their heads as rams. I've seen them fall unconscious doing this. There was one who just kept trying to eat himself, biting his arms, legs, and feet. He tried to kill another prisoner, and then in 1982, when still in the notorious Broadmoor, he led a rooftop protest that lasted three days and cost around $300,000 worth of damage. Now you can see why this guy became well known as a hard to deal with prisoner. But there was a lot more to come. He hadn't even started. He led two more rooftop protests and also went on a hunger strike. But in some ways he found solace in writing poems, sketching and creating cartoon strips. He even won awards for his work. It didn't stop him being violent though, it just settled him down from time to time. Psychiatrists couldn't figure him out. And even though he was in a mental facility, he was never properly diagnosed. He once said, asylums are crazy places with crazy If you're not mad when you arrive, you are when you leave. Again, he was moved from facility to prison, stabbing and beating up. No longer suffering from mental isolation. More beatings from the guards, more medicine, and perhaps his piece de resistance. He once strangled a prison governor. After that... Holy crap, bro. Like, how are you so low that you'd use a fucking rocket? For kills. Especially when it's 13 to 19. You know what? I'm up to use a rocket too. <laughs> Hypocrite. Weapon loadout is not good for close range at all. What are you building? What is this man knowing? Oh, ouch. If we win this, I'm gonna be surprised, to be honest. We're down by a lot of people, that's why.
I'm killing you and me, bro. Ain't nobody else gonna kill me. I'm about to kill both of us. We're gonna win this. All right, we're gonna win this. We're gonna freaking win this, bro. I don't care what nobody says. We're about to win this fight. No matter how many of them there are. Oh, you have a rocket? Okay, I see you. Rocket spamming. I mean, I only use rockets when there's a horde of people, but... If that's the only way you can get your kills, go ahead. Give me all that. Give me all that, bruh. You would take rocket ammo. You're done, dude. Yeah. Saw him. Saw that coming. No, dude. You can't lose this. There's no way we can lose this. Let's go, let's go, we take dub don't we? I don't know which shotgun I like more, but I'm gonna use both of them. I'm gonna win this, bro. That's all I can. That's all I can say. I, 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 I see you. That's one. Let's go. Take a noob. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Another one. Oh, I'm special. Chase them, bro. We gotta chase them. So many kills, dude.
Dude, no, we can't lose this. We can't lose this. There's no way we can lose this. I could have got so many kills right there, but I didn't freaking build. Can't lose this, dude. No, how did we lose? How did we lose, bro? How did we lose? I had so many kills. Someone tell me how did we lose, bro? I had so many kills. How did we lose?